Today in Washington, a full day devoted to the nation's important but sometimes confounding debate over guns. Tonight, the House passing the Protect Our Kids Act, which raises the age from 18 to 21 to buy assault-style weapons legally. It now goes to the U.S. Senate, where it's expected to stall and therefore fail. All of this just hours after some of the most heartbreaking testimony ever to Congress, gun massacre survivors and family members from Uvalde, Texas, with impassioned pleas to lawmakers to stop this gun madness. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan. She was intelligent, compassionate, and athletic. Kimberly Rubio's daughter got all A's this semester and an award for being kind. And then she posed for a picture. That photo, her last photo ever, was taken at approximately 10.54 a.m. To celebrate, we promised to get her ice cream that evening. But Lexi died that day. She was among the 19 children murdered in a Uvalde, Texas classroom just two weeks ago. Dr. Roy Guerrero is the town's only pediatrician. Two children whose bodies have been pulverized by bullets fired at them, decapitated, whose flesh had been ripped apart, that the only clue at their identities was a blood splattered cartoon clothes still clinging to them. Testimony before the house today was riveting and wrenching. It described a nation under siege and a government that refuses to help as the bodies of the victims pile up. It is high noon in America. Time for every one of us to decide where we stand on the issue of gun violence. Time to decide if it's more important to protect the profits of gun manufacturers or the lives of our children. The answer, though, may well disappoint Mayor Adams. The House did pass a series of strong gun measures today, but they will all fail in the Senate where 10 Republicans would have to cross party lines. They won't. I believe it is our God-given right to defend ourselves from any act of violence. But Mia Cirillo couldn't defend herself against the AR-style assault rifle used by the gunman in Uvalde. She was in fourth grade, and because the law allows an 18-year-old to buy an assault rifle, she saw this. And he went to there and shot my teacher and told my teacher goodnight and shot her in the head. Those bills that passed in the House today did so with the help of six Republicans who crossed party lines. Not one of them is running for re-election. The pediatrician who spoke to Congress today said, in part, we are bleeding out and you're not there. 